cliche. I see the sparks you throw my way. I know your name is written on everyone's mind. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a clean with me mixed together with a typical day in the life of a twin mom. I am going to be cleaning my entire bathroom as well as some things around my house. Then I'll be spending some time with my sweet baby girls who are seven months old, as well as showing you guys a new recipe idea. If you enjoy cleaning and organizing content as well as some family adventure, I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel. It would absolutely mean the world to me. And don't forget to say hello in the comments while you watch. Okay, next on my list of things to tackle is to clean my tub and I've got this brand new thing that I'm really excited to try. It is just a really nice scrub brush. It's actually from OXO Good Grips and it's kind of got like a maneuverable head so it can get into the corners and things like that. Nice and good like scrub brush and then I can replace the end afterwards which is really nice. And then I'm actually using something else that's also brand new. I've never tried this spray before but it is a natural tub and towel cleaner so it has no toxins or alcohol or problems or all the all the things no dyes it's like all the all the healthy stuff i guess um i've never tried it before but i like the fact that it's actually clear too i feel like when you see a clear cleaner that's already a good sign that it's in like more of the healthy realm <laughs> so anyways i'm gonna go ahead and get to work and clean my tub Well, that went pretty good, honestly. I think I really like this stuff that I'm using, this Better Life Naturally Bathroom Brightening Tub and Towel Cleaner. <laughs> like I said, it's nice to be able to clean and know that you're not breathing in like really toxic stuff. I mean, I'm sure it's not perfect, but it was the best thing I could find and it was on Amazon pretty for a pretty good price. So I'll link that below if you're interested. Oops, my thing just fell down. <laughs> Anyways, and this thing worked out pretty nice too. It's nice that I can extend it just by simply turning the handle, it comes all the way out to be like really long, which is nice. And then I just turn it back to lock it. So anyway, I'm just gonna let that sit there since it's still wet. But the other thing I was gonna mention is, I don't know if this happens to you, but we tend to leave a lot of our different shampoo and conditioners in the shower, even when they're done being used. Like, let's say I use my shampoo and it only has a tiny bit left and I just want to get every last drop and it turns out that it's really not worth it. <laughs> so I end up keeping it in hopes that I can get a little bit out. So I'm going to go ahead and take out a bunch of those that I need to just throw out and try to consolidate some of the ones that are like partially open. Clean, 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 sparkly, sparkly, yay! Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. We've got like, okay, so I've got a body wash here and then my husband's got his shampoo and then I've got, okay, so mostly it's me that's got this issue. I've got one, two, three, four conditioners. And let's see, this one is basically empty, so I should just toss that. This one is mostly empty and I've been trying to get the last little drop out of it, but let's be real, it's it's just not happening, so I'm gonna toss that. And I just bought this one, it's brand new, and this one's got a tiny bit left, so yay, I'm just gonna keep those. Oh, and I don't even need that. That's left over from me trying to dump it out and get it all, and it just wasn't happening. <laughs> so anyways, okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. These two are the conditioners that have something in them. This is a shampoo that is also really low. I think I can actually use that though. So I'm gonna try to get the rest of that and then I've got a new shampoo in waiting that I can use. And then my husband's just got like some of his body act stuff. So otherwise, 
that's pretty much all we need. And honestly, we don't even use this thing. I don't know. I think it's like one of those things that we got because we thought, oh, aesthetically, it would look nice in the shower, but we don't really need it, so I should take that out. Okay, I feel much better now that I've cleaned that up a little bit, taken out some of the things that we don't really need, that I don't really need, that I kind of tend to hang on to. <laughs> okay, um, next, these towels are a mess. I'm gonna fold them real quick. So as you can see, these top ones are all a matching set, and I actually really like these colors. Uh, I have other ones that I should probably put out. It's just that when we bought them, we didn't use all of them because we didn't need all of them at the time. But now we feel like we've been using more towels because I've been just like cycling through and trying to be really good about washing them like all the time. So now we have these other towels too, and... <laughs> I feel like we just got to pick one. We just got to get consistent. So I think next time, hopefully, that you see me clean my bathroom, I will have all of these towels be the same because I just love that consistency. I think it's so nice when people have same colored towels throughout. In addition to cleaning the tub and the bathroom sink and both the mirrors, also just taken all the floor mats away so that I could wash the floor. And they are now in the laundry machine getting disinfected. Yay! So now we're gonna head to the kitchen and I'm gonna put away all the dishes and wash the sink. Woohoo! clean kitchen. <laughs> These roses, by the way, are some beautiful roses that Matias got of me for our anniversary last week. Yay! Next on my to-do list for the day is taking care of cleaning up my living room. I don't know how it becomes a mess so quickly. It just does. <laughs> Anybody else experience this? Anyway, I'm taking care of that right now. All done. I don't know about you, but there's just something peaceful about having a clean living space. Next, I'm going to go ahead and make myself feel clean and hop in the shower really quick so that I could be fresh as well. Okay, now I feel all fresh. I just hopped in the shower real quick and also got some laundry done while I was doing so. So now it's dry and I've got a whole basket here to fold. I've also got all this other stuff I get to fold all that laundry as well. So let's get to it. And I hope that watching me brings you some motivation to get some things done alongside me. I wonder, do you do all of your laundry on one day or do you tend to do it throughout the week? Let me know in the comments. I feel like sometimes I just let it stock up for one big day of laundry, but I try to do it throughout the week so it doesn't end up all in one day. <laughs> Okay, I just put all those clothes away into my closet and I also haven't put these away yet. These are all the girls clothes that I just folded. They are still napping because as you know, I love to get everything done while they're napping. So I think I should wake them up. I'm gonna put these clothes into their closet when they're awake. <laughs> and in a little bit, I'm gonna show you a new dinner idea. Sweetie, you're awake too. Hello, you're just being so quiet in here. Are you ready to get up from your nap? Yeah, okay, let's get you up. Come here, cutie. Okay, we just got you a new diaper. Yeah, yeah, are you ready for some food? Yeah, your sister's ready too. You are. <laughs> okay, I gotta get her too, all right? Let's go out in the living room. And I've already made two things of milk for you. All right, you want your bottle? Here you go. You got it? Good girl. 
All right, I'm gonna go get your sister now. You can enjoy your milk right there. Okay, you've been so patient. Good girl. All right, let's change your diaper too. Come here, cutie. Come here. Okay, we just got you new pants and you got a new diaper. You just wanted some more comfy pants, didn't ya? Show us those teeth. Let me see those teeth again. <laughs> ah. You just yeah. wanna roll around? <gasps> Let me see those teeth. Ah. <laughs> okay, are you ready? We're gonna go out and eat. Yes, we are. <laughs> okay. You are just the happiest girl today. You both are. <laughs> Hey, let's have some milk. Let's have some food. Okay, here's your bottle. You want it? There, you got it. Oh, gotta fit right there so you don't get it all over. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Yeah, you girls are both drinking your own milk. Holding your bottles all by yourself. Good girl. Good stretch. You know what we're missing? With our outfits, we're missing bows. We gotta put bows in your hair. There you go, now you got hair bows. I swear, if I take them anywhere and they're not completely dressed in pink, people will always ask, oh, is it a girl and a boy? Or are they both boys? Or, you know, what are they? And I'm like, okay, come on. I, I put them in, with bows and pink stuff and things like that, but I don't know. It seems that more often than not, when I have bows in their hair, even if the color is blue, they're totally like, oh, cute little girls. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, you look especially girly today, though. You're all pink. <laughs> yeah. You like pink? I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> oh, yes. We love all the colors. Yes, we do. All right, we gotta set you up to burp. Hmm? <laughs> now we got both of you sitting up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's just looking at herself in the camera. Yeah. <laughs> That's you right there. Yeah. And today I'm also showing one of my favorite recipes, spaghetti squash tacos. First, I bake a spaghetti squash at 400 for 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how big it is. This one is pretty big, so I did 30 minutes. And I just cover it with salt, pepper, and olive oil. Then I put it in bowls with all taco seasonings, which include ground beef with some spices. I put in fresh tomato, some diced onion, sour cream, cheese, as well as a little bit of lime juice. So good. It's just like tacos except gluten-free and delicious. Well, thank you so much for tagging along with us in this video. I hope that you got some cleaning motivation to get your space organized as well. And I hope that you enjoyed this new recipe. Do please try it out. Let me know how it goes. I would love to hear how much you enjoy it. And if you did enjoy this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks. And if you're not yet following me on Instagram, I am at summer winter mom. Tons of cute baby pictures if you are interested in getting baby fever. <laughs> Bye guys.